Okay, so my Maytag Centennial Commercial Technology washing machine, which I love, we've had about eight or nine years, paid 500 bucks for it back then, um, is now squeaking and squealing and grinding. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. And I couldn't take the agitator off, so I figured out a trick on how to do that. Um, what you want to do is take off this center cap that's in the middle, and you can pop it off. I just took a butter knife to do so. And then there is this screw underneath, this bolt, not a screw, a bolt. And I took my DeWalt drill and impact drill, and I was able to get that out. And I thought I would be able to just lift up the agitator and you can't. So I found a trick on what to do. You take a shoelace and you take your butter knife or a thin screwdriver and you push, you push it underneath until you can get a lip on it, you know, get it underneath that lip and then you pull it up. See if I can do that again for you. You can see how the shoelace used to be white, now it's filthy, disgusting. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to clean underneath there so that's not getting on our clothes. And once I did that, see if I can keep this going underneath, then you can pull it up. I wish I had three hands, but. I had it up already, so let's see. I can just pry it up now. So I had to put the camera down to pry it up and it just comes straight up with the shoelace and you'll never guess what's underneath your clothes. I mean, that's already sprayed off like 90%. So you gotta clean that off. I'm gonna bleach it. Maybe put it through the dishwasher, but there's that nasty gunk. So I'm gonna have to clean that off. So that's the tip on how to get your agitator off of your Maytag Centennial Commercial Technology washing machine. And from that point, then you can see what is screeching and grinding and you can work on the drum.